द मैन हु मिसटुक हिज वाइफ फॉर हैट बाय ऑलिवर सैक्स This isn't your typical medical book. Oliver Sacks shares mind-blowing stories from his practice as a neurologist, reminding us how strange and wonderful the human brain can be. So these stories offer profound insights into how human brain works and how people adapt to extraordinary neurological conditions. And the best part is that he does it in a way that's totally accessible even if you're not a medical professional. The title itself is intriguing, right? Imagine mistaking your wife for a hat. That's just one of the bizarre cases Sachs explores. What makes this book so captivating is that how Sachs combines medical insights with deep empathy and curiosity about the human conditions. Okay, now let's see a few of these cases. Dr. P was a talented music teacher who started experiencing some very strange visual problems. This condition is called as visual agnosia. Well, he could see perfectly fine, but he couldn't recognize what he was seeing. Imagine seeing a familiar object and having no clue what it is until you touch it or hear it. This was Dr. P's reality. So he visited an ophthalmologist due to his visual difficulties and that's when he learned the truth about his condition. This issue wasn't with his eyes. but with his brain's ability to interpret what his eyes were seeing dr p would see faces as abstract shapes and would identify people by their specific features like their voice or how they moved and one of the most striking moments was when dr p during an examination with sax tried to lift his wife's head thinking it was his hat sounds crazy right this incident clearly explains the extent of his condition despite this dr p adapted amazingly well he used his love for music to structure his life he sang songs to help him remember tasks and navigate his world it's like his brain found a way to compensate what he had lost by using what he loved the most that is music This is a perfect example of how brain can adapt and find new ways to function. Dr. P's story is not just about the bizarre and strange neurological condition, but also about the human resilience and capacity to adapt. Now let's move on to the second story, the twin math geniuses John and Michael. These brothers were autistic savants, meaning they had incredible talents. but also significant cognitive challenges. John and Michael had a remarkable talent for numbers. They could perform complex calculations in their heads and had an innate ability to recognize prime numbers without any formal training. Sax spent more time with them trying to understand their unique abilities. Imagine meeting two people who could instantly tell you the day of the week for any date in the history or recognize huge prime numbers without any effort. That's what John and Michael would do. They played with numbers like they were just toys and exchanging massive prime numbers back and forth just for fun picture this two brothers sitting in a room throwing huge prime numbers at each other without any effort no calculators no paper just pure brain power dr sax was amazed and so was i when i first read it this story shows us that intelligent isn't one size fit for all it comes in many forms the twins couldn't handle simple tasks like tying their shoes but their minds worked in ways that most of us can't even imagine So even if someone struggles in one area they might excel in another. John and Michael's story challenges our ideas about what it means to be intelligent. It's a reminder that everyone has unique strengths even though they don't fit the usual mold. Finally, let's talk about Christina, a lady who lost her sense of where her body was in space. Imagine waking up one day and not being able to tell where your arms and legs are unless you're looking at them. This condition is called loss of proprioception and this was Christina's new reality. Proprioception is something what we all take for granted. It is what allows us to walk without looking at our feet or type on a keyboard without looking at our fingers. Christina had to relearn everything. She developed new strategies to move and function. She relied on her vision to guide her movements, watching her feet as she walked and her hands as she picked up things. Christina's story is a powerful example of incredible struggle and resilience and how we can overcome even the most daunting obstacles. There are many stories in this book that are equally fascinating like the stories of the lost mariner Jimmy G who had lost the ability to form new memories, the witty Tiki Re, a man with Tourette syndrome, and the man who fell out of bed, which is about a patient suffering from a rare form of hemiplegia. who experienced a bizarre sensation where he didn't recognize his own leg and many more stories that fascinate you but what makes this book so special is his ability to show us the human side of these medical mysteries it doesn't just describe the conditions 
he tells the stories about real people, their struggles and their victories. His writings is filled with compassion and curiosity. He asks not just what or how, but who. Who are these people beyond their conditions? Every story is a journey into the unknown, where we learn not only about the rare neurological conditions, but also about the resilience of the human spirit. Facts teaches us that every brain no matter how unusual is a window into the human experience if you are fascinated about the human brain and if you love stories about the resilience and complexity of human experience the man who mistook his wife for a hat by oliver sacks is a must read it's perfect for anyone who is interested in psychology or medicine or simply captivating stories about real people overcoming extraordinary challenges you can grab your copy of the man who mistook his wife for a hat on amazon i've put the link in the description below Trust me, this is one book you won't regret adding it to your collection. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this book review, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more book reviews and medical insights. Until next time, keep exploring, stay curious and never stop learning.